It even seems strange to say, but on September 14th, it was rivalry Saturday in college football from the Willamette Valley. Fox 12's Nick Krupke was in Corvallis for the 128th meeting between the Beavers and the Ducks, but the first of its kind in modern times as OSU and Oregon no longer play in the same conference. Civil Saturday in the Mid Valley in mid September. As odd as that may be, it may not certainly be forever, but in state distaste for one another is always everlasting and forever. Brings out the best of what sports and fandom can be. When you think back in college you know, athletic history and the popularity of college athletics, it was built on rivalries. They can splinter, they can split, but the Beaver State was cranked up and sharp for the 128th rivalry renewed at a sold-out Reeser Stadium, 38,000 plus, to soak up this new state between a pair of 2-0 teams before the official start to fall. We need to let the world know how good this university is. OSU Athletic Director Scott Barnes, the Beavs have a path forward now with a reformed and expanded Pac-12 conference with four new Mountain West additions joining the foundation with two if not four more before 2026. Let's uh, put conference realignment aside. This new world that we live in uh, demands that we reinvent ourselves in terms of revenue streams, how we conduct business, uh, our, our ability to adapt to the changes. While so much has changed, so much was how it always has been. Blazers young star Scoot Henderson wanted to be there and document it all. The orange and black, no time to love the green and yellow flock from 45 minutes away, south down Highway 99. Meeting for the first time as non-conference rivals since 1963. Oregon's Dylan Gabriel watched Marcus Mariota be a civil star while growing up in Hawaii. The senior transfer out of Oklahoma etched his name in lore with a 54-yard second quarter rushing score. Lefty on that speed option, and it would eventually be 22-7 for the visitors. But the Beavs are grinders. Colorado transfer Anthony Hankerson capped a 14-play drive to pull to 22-14 at the break. But that would be as close as it got on that sunny Saturday afternoon. Oregon's 15 second quarter points on another 10 in the third to lead 32-14. Then Noah Whittington hammered it home on the ground in the fourth. The Ducks racked up more than double the total amount of yards. Then Oregon State outscoring the Beavs 27 to nothing in that second half. Via the ground and the air, Gabriel connecting shortly to Jaden Lamar on third and 10. He goes for 65 yards. It all adds up to the Ducks' first win in Corvallis since 2018. 49 to 14 the final. Ninth ranked Oregon now takes 14 of the last 17 in the rivalry to improve to 3 0 this season and enter the Big Ten portion of their schedule. I think it's important for us to perform to our standard every game, right? And obviously, this was a great opportunity. I, I love the fact that we get to go in a hostile environment and perform this way. Um, but, you know, that's, that's our standard, that's our expectation. I always tell the O line, you give me the time, I'll, I'll do the crime. So um, they've continued to do that, and I'm proud of them. I, I think it goes to show. Um, with it, with any you know offense, I think you know, there's offense and I'm playing at a high level. I grew up, I think I missed three Civil War games since I was five years old. Um, so just being a part of the rivalry, knowing how their fans act when they win, um, and you know having family on both sides of the rivalry, just just the feeling and the rights to knowing that you got this game for the entire year is what motivated motivated me for this one. So now two and one, the Beavers still have a bright season in front of them with a run game and defense that should have them in every game remaining on their hodgepodge slate of contest. There's still some good things to take away as a team and as an offense. Um, we got a lot more games to play. I think right. it's just a game. I, th I think. You know, you're gonna, you're not always gonna shut everybody out, right? There's gonna be games where you play well and games where you're off. And today was one where we were off. I'm very interested to see how our team reacts and see how we respond. But I know we'll respond the right way, and um, I'm just ready to get back to work. Next up, these Ducks begin Big Ten conference play down at UCLA in the Rose Bowl. Still sounds kind of odd to say that these Beavers remain here on this turf against a Big Ten team out of Purdue. At Reacher Stadium, Nick Krepke, Fox Civil Oregon.